Good cattle handling facilities are necessary for all cattle operations, regardless of the number of cattle. Cattle handling facilities are used to restrain individual animals during management practices such as vaccinations. Cattle handling facilities can be used for a variety of purposes, such as the collection of performance data, which is critical to herd genetic improvement and marketing efforts. When designing cattle handling facilities, be sure to consider the type of animals to be handled, the number of animals and frequency of handling, and also the purposes for which those animals will be handled. Ultimately, the most important aspect of designing cattle handling facilities is to ensure the safety of both animals and their human handlers. There are several basic components of effective cattle handling facilities. Most cattle handling facilities include a pen or set of pens to gather cattle in before working them. The catch pens can also serve as a place to sort cattle into management groups. They can also serve as a holding area. Gates can be used to segment catch pens to allow for sorting cattle into groups. Ideally, each pasture on the operation should be in reasonable proximity to a catch pen. From the catch sorting or holding pens, a main lane should lead to the crowding pen, where cattle line up to move single file through an alley. The crowding pen is also known as a sweep tub. The circular design of a sweep tub allows cattle to use their natural instinct to follow each other while limiting their vision of potential obstacles or distractions ahead. Crowding pens typically have a gate that swings around behind the cattle to guide them single file into the working alley. Gate stops at set intervals allow the sweep gate to be held securely in place against cattle pushing back against it. The handler is able to push from behind the gate and use the self-latching gate stops to protect against the gate being opened backwards without the handler deliberately releasing the gate stops. A solid sweep tub gate and side panels are strongly recommended for both safety and to shield the cattle from viewing any distractions outside the pen. After the crowding tub, cattle enter an alley or chute, which leads to a chute section where individual animals are restrained. A curved alley maintains flow because cattle see only the animal directly in front of them and naturally follow. Having solid sides on alleys shields cattle from seeing movement outside the alley that may be distracting. It also helps to prevent cattle from protruding heads or limbs outside of the alley. The working alley should be at least 20 feet long to avoid delays in efficiently moving cattle. Appropriate alley width varies depending on the size of the cattle being processed. It should be wide enough for cattle to move forward without much resistance, but not wide enough for them to turn around. A squeeze chute with head catch ensures safety for both cattle and handler. The head catch keeps the animal from backing up and allows access to the head and neck. This is particularly important in giving vaccinations. Squeezing the sides of the chute limits movement of cattle while they're being worked. It also provides a calming effect for the cattle. Squeeze chutes vary in design, but often allow an animal to exit the chute not only from forward movement, but also to the side by way of a hinge side panel if needed. Squeeze chutes have multiple levers or pulls that function to open, close, and squeeze different parts of the chute. This allows one person to operate the squeeze chute while other handlers move cattle into the chute. Chutes without the body squeeze function, but with a head squeeze and removable sides are also available for grooming or fitting cattle. Having sorting pens situated in front of the working chute decreases labor by allowing cattle to be individually directed to the appropriate management groups. Sorting pens are sometimes called holding pens because they're designed to hold cattle before and after processing through the chute. If cattle are not to be worked immediately, holding pens need sources of drinking water for cattle and additional space. Set up pens off a lane leaving the chute so that the cattle can be sorted immediately after processing. Make sure the gates hinge on the proper side so they will swing in the desired direction to move cattle directly into pens. The number and sizes of sorting pens needed depends on the number and sizes of cattle to be handled. Larger operations may need more sorting pens than smaller operations. Loading and unloading ramps or chutes are another basic component of good cattle handling facilities. These chutes or ramps are used to move cattle from ground-based handling facilities to trailers for transportation and vice versa. They can be either permanent or portable. Ramp heights may need to differ depending on the types of trailers to be used. Before moving cattle through a handling facility, inspect it thoroughly. 
Do this before the first use and also routinely before later uses. Facilities require repair and upkeep over time to remain safe, functional, and efficient.